my god. What? I'm uh, I'm freaking out now. I decided, you know what? One video a week isn't enough, so we're gonna be uploading twice a week. If you saw that intro, hey. I am uploading every single Sunday and every single Wednesday for back to school season. And before any of you guys start commenting anything like Alicia, don't even mention the word school. Remember, a lot of people actually go back soon, like in a week or two, and we can't forget about them. We can't leave them hanging. They want back to school videos before they go back to school. I hope you're excited for these life hacks. I hope they help you out, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and let's get on into the video. Oh. Okay, so the first life hack is for anyone who's ever had to deal with a broken zipper on their backpack, which I'm assuming is almost all of us, it is the worst thing ever, but there's a really easy solution to fix it. All you need is a paper clip, and once you have that, you can you can decorate it if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, but you can. And you just take that and put it on your zipper, and then it works perfectly again. I honestly really wish I knew about this sooner, because it would have saved me a ton of time dealing with broken zippers. Guys, I saw this on Pinterest and I really wanted to share it with you because it is so easy. All you need is a kitchen sponge and you can make a DIY ice pack. But please make sure you get a brand new one because you do not want some nasty old sponge next to the food that you're eating. That's all I'm saying. But you freeze it and it becomes an ice pack. It's so easy. The next life hack is so helpful. I can't even explain it. I'm guessing a lot of you guys, like me, have struggled with your stomach growling in class. Is it not one of the most embarrassing things ever? Because people stare at you and your stomach's growling in class. It's so embarrassing to me. But literally all you have to do is stick out your stomach and the noises go away. I'm not kidding. This totally works. It's mind blowing. I use this trick all the time. Definitely try it. You will thank me. So this next life hack is gonna help you guys out the next time you have a speech to give. Bring up a water bottle with you in class and that way, if you're always blank on a certain section or you just need time, all you have to do is take a drink of the water, of course, very casually, and it gives you time to think of what's coming up next. It gives you just a second to kind of gather your thoughts without looking like you forgot something. I swear this works so good, definitely try it. I'm guessing a lot of you guys have had to dealt with the struggle of people borrowing your pens and then you have none. Well, if that happens to you a lot, this is a really good life hack. All you have to do is switch out the ink between your red pen and your blue or black pen. So that way, when people ask if you have any pens, you can just be like, yo, I'm so sorry, I only have a red one. And now that I'm thinking about it, you kind of are straight up lying, which isn't good, but I think it's awesome because that way you have a pen and you're always prepared for class and that way you're not gonna get marked down any points for being unprepared, so it's a good life hack. The next one is DIY Whiteout. This one is really weird, but it works, but it's weird. If you are in desperate need of some whiteout and you have none around, toothpaste weirdly works as white out, you can substitute it. I will say it does not work as well. I, I, I tried it, trust me guys, I tried it. Uh, it does work, but not as well as white out. But if you're ever in a huge pinch and you need some white out, go grab your toothpaste and it'll work. Can we really quick take a second and bond over the struggle of running the mile in PE? Yeah, that's a thing. If you want a tip with this, all you have to do is sprint the long distance and then walk the curves and you will most likely finish the mile within the time limit. I swear it works. Try it out. So this is for any girls dealing with some period struggles and you just don't feel comfortable yet whipping out a tampon in the middle of class and walking to the restroom. All you have to do is bring a separate sunglasses case that's empty, fill it up with all of your tampons and that way you can just take that when you go to the restroom and it isn't as obvious as just whipping out a tampon. So there you go. I used to do that all the time and it was so much better. <laughs> Okay, I really wish I knew this life hack when I was in high school running all the time because I always got cramps from running and it was so painful and really hard to do PE and stuff. Apparently a really big tip is just to always breathe out when your left foot hits the ground. So hopefully that helps you guys out and you will not get any cramps from running anymore. <laughs> So this life hack you will love if you love having apples during lunch, but the struggle is that by the time you actually have lunch, 
your apple is pretty much brown. So all you have to do is cut your apple, but then put a rubber band around it just like this. And that way it won't be nearly as brown as it would have if it was just by itself in the Ziploc bag. So today I'm gonna be talking about this, but this is actually just B-roll, so it doesn't really matter what I'm saying. And before you get mad, okay, and before you guys get mad, and before you get mad, so I'm gonna grab my water bottle now because I don't know what I'm talking about, and this will help. Um, merp, merp, okay. Because I'm excited. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a new video. Bye!